Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. Alright, in the last episode, uh, um, Asa of Dehubarth finally decided to do something stupid. He decided to try to fabricate a claim on the Kingdom of Wales. And, well, I wasn't having any of that. I attempted to imprison him. And he raised his flag in a rebellion. Oh, oh, how terrible for him. Uh, war score is already 87%. I think I've lost uh, a couple hundred troops, maybe. And he's lost all of them. <laughs> Sucks to be him. Sucks to be him. Uh, we did capture this mayor guy. Um, Let's see. Ransom him for 25 gold? Sure, why not? Ooh, excuse me. Uh, I forgot to clear that one out. Uh, I forgot to clear that one out. And let's see. Mayor Dogfail of Chesterfield became the new guardian for blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So now we are heading our troops over to Dyfed to uh, besiege his own castle. Who actually controls this? You do. Arthfail of Glamorgan. You are a Morganoog. Mm. Uh, you're welcome. I'll take your money. Uh, we got an arranged marriage uh, request from Garcia de Can Cantabria. Um, my daughter. My daughter is not... Oh, no. My daughter... Her husband died. I forgot to marry her off to someone. That's rather amusing. I could do that and get uh, um, an alliance, but I'm almost never going to call in an alliance. Uh, I don't find them all that useful, um, mainly because it takes a very long time for the soldiers to get over there, and he might call on me. Uh, so I'm just going to decline. Um, I do thank him, want to th should thank him for uh, alerting me that she needed a new husband. Arrange marriage, matrilineal. Who do we want to marry to her? Let's see. Um, there are not many people to... Uh, oh, let's actually do it this way. That will be better. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's look for someone with a good trait. Uh, genius would be nice, but I would accept uh, strong or quick. There is a strong here. Uh, he's a courtier in Smallland. Uh, but he is chased. Screw him. What else do we have? I'm going to try to avoid any of the bad traits, certainly. Anything good. Anything good. I kind of wish that I had more options, like, because I, I would just eliminate all of the children from this list, because she's too old to marry her off to someone who is not yet of age. So that's... Uh, I would very much like to... Ooh. Hedonist. Um, I'm tempted for that just because that would mean uh, an increase... Increased chances of uh, children. And she has pleasures in life. Edenism. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm coming back to you, buddy. Um, you, you might be the lucky uh, winner here in the uh, marriage lottery. Yep. Yep, you're going to be the lucky winner. Have babies. Babies. Thank you. Uh, let's see. You know what? You guys, you guys just go over there and slaughter those troops. Because I can. There we go. Merge those troops together. Oh, 396. Oh, that's sucks to be you. You guys can come back there. Oh, look. Thank you. Oh, 
look. We got money from you, and it's now time for you to surrender. Thank you. Thank you very much. Revoke title. Duchy of Dehubarth. Boom. Fortunately, I cannot um, take his uh, uh, county title right now, because I've already taken one title. So, I guess I'm just going to stick with the having the uh, Dehubarth myself. Um... Not a whole lot that I can do about this right now, so. You guys, you guys can get back up to the palace. Ha <laughs> ha! Civil War failed. Uh-oh. Where are you going? I'm going to the Irish Sea. Let's disband the ship unit. Tiustian fleet. Tiust is over here. I'm not sure where he's planning on going. Uh, he's going to the Minch, so... Well, Northriar has uh, rebelled. Um... Yeah, I like that it's Northriar and Suthriar. Uh, North Islands and South Islands, I imagine. Um, uh, Norway is uh, having fun times with their rebellions. Let's see that guy. Yep. That's uh, do 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 do. Okay. So, um, I only have the two duchies right now, so I'm not gonna have a too many uh, duchy penalty. Ah, oh, France has put itself back together for the most part, it looks like. Uh, let's see. Intrigue, prisoners. I could try ransoming him, but it looks like he does not have the money. Alright, well, you can just sit there in prison. You sit there in prison and think about what you've done. I still can't uh, swipe the uh, dukedom from him. Although, I, sp I mean, I suppose I could uh, give it to Haleth and it will fall to one of her children, which... Okay, they have... Uh, that, that's matrilineal. Ah, oh, another daughter there. That one is not matrilineal, though. Well, she's going to be a ri right off then. Countess Aleth of Gwent has declared Gwentian claim on Dyfed War on Count Asa of Dyfed. Oh! Thank you, Aleth, for kicking him when he's down. Oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. Oh, oh stop your claims. I haven't done something that pissed you off, have I? Uh, desires a duchy of Dehubarth. Ah, that's why. That's why he does not like me. And he is ambitious! <sighs> He's a dwarf. You know what? The funny thing is... Oh, this is, this is really amusing. Um, word honorary title. Court Dwarf. And it's not a bad title. Dwarves are objects of fascination and curiosity. Having one at court is a matter of prestige. I, I don't I don't get that. I would think that would be an insult, but it's not. Um Well, opinion plus ten? Sure. Let's make you the court dwarf. Now it's now you have an opinion of two. <laughs> Maybe you will uh, disband that. Uh my liege, the people of Constantinople have progressed beyond our own technolo technological level. I have managed to study their advancements, and the documents enclosed here should help us reach their level. I hope you will find this to your satisfaction. Wonderful! 
How are we doing on technology? Um, I suppose I could spend some. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, I, I'll I'll stick with not spending it until I actually need it. Simply because it'll give these chances to increase, even though they're not all that likely to. Oh, I guess they've decided to uh, raid Tyrone. Good for them. Count Arthvale of Glamorgan has declared Glamorgan... Glamorgan... Glamor... Oh, Glamorganine... Whatever. Claim on Dyfed War on Count Asa. <laughs> oh, that is... That is great. Why have you not gone over there, Gwent? Get over there. Don't let, uh... Don't let Arthvale get it. I don't want Arthvale to have it. Oh, that's not good. Countess Caradwen has, uh... It looks like she only has, uh... 391. Still, that's... That's a bother. Ah, well. Ah, there we go. There we go. She's joining up uh, some soldiers. Getting a larger army. And Mabin of Suffolk and Tudual of Munster has accepted uh, Haleth's claim, uh, uh, calls for uh, ar calls to arms. That's good. Although, you're going to need to go... Um, do something about Arthvale, because uh, you're because now that he's there, he uh, is uh, kind of gonna might win it. Uh, let's see who just died. Idwall of Lane. Um. Oh, oh, he's one of the children of the guy that I uh, deposed by starting out as a brand new character. <laughs> Ah, good times. Good times. Oh, well. Let's see. Yes. Uh, do, 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 do. Mabin declared... Uh, declined. Oh, maybe she bribed her. Oh. Oh, no, no. She declined Haleth, and she accepted Arthvale's calls. Ew. I'm displeased. Ah, uh, but Gwen has accepted the uh, call to arms. That would help. Not sure if these two guys will, uh, if these two armies will uh, actually fight there. Because they do have competing interests, but they have the same foe. Nope. That's that's bad for uh, Haleth. That's very bad for Haleth. That's a shame. I think Haleth is going to lose this one because she was uh, too slow on the draw, really. Hmm. Tis a shame. Tis a shame. Brittany actually, yeah, Brittany has actually become a kingdom. And a castle town has been built. Alright. You stop that. I could make her the, uh... Duchess. I'm not sure if that would really help the situation much. She has a lot of prestige. I think I'll stick with the du the uh, keeping the uh, duchy title for myself, though. Let's increase speed a little bit. 
Um, just so they can hurry up and get this done. Yes, your scheming was uh, misdirected. Stop what you do. My prisoner, Count Asa of Dyfed, is complaining about his dark cell in the dungeon, asking for more suitable accommodations. Suitable? How about the oubliette? Eh, I'll just let him rot. Because I don't want him to die just yet. I want them to strip the uh, county from him. I mean, while it would disappoint me if uh, Glamorgan here got it, uh, I'll survive. Uh, all right. Cursed Vikings. How many can I actually raise up here? Not enough to make a big difference. Let's uh, decrease the speed a little bit. Wait for them to decide what they're going to... Really? You're going to Chester? Did I miss... Oh! <laughs> oh, they're from Chester! I missed that! I apparently was not paying attention. Okay, 5th of February, so... On, like, the 3rd or something, let's, uh... Oh. Hi. Do 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 do. Get a son. That is good. Clearly, you must name him after uh, after your liege. Thank you, sir. Hey, guys. There we go. That should do it. Although they do have a defensive bonus. Oh, great. I was I was uh, leading the army. Victory! We did not quite kill them all. Um, well, uh, let's, let's fix that. Let's also put someone else in charge. Here, you can, you can be in charge. Thank you. They're gonna probably uh, disband them. There we go. Oh dear, I lost ten soldiers. Um. Oh, wow, Caridwen of uh, Durham died already. It was only 38. Okay, so Arthvale of Durham is now... Um, now ruling in Durham. Unfortunately, he is also heir to... Uh, Excuse me, Dyfed, which is why I want them to strip it from him. Uh, he would have a claim, but I don't think he'd be able to press it. What are you doing? You were trying to kill the... You know what, I need to... I need to get some of these kids uh, educated and make them properly uh, Welsh. See, intrigue, known plots, stop it. Yes, you're right, it was misdirected. How dare you, sir? How dare you? Getting you back up there. I need to play with uh, appointing new leaders and stuff like that more often. I don't quite do enough of it. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Nope. Ah, where have you decided to go to war? Oh, Danish conquest of... Uh, you? You? Whatever. So they've decided to go after this uh, single Scottish territory here, since they have uh, this territory down here, Rouen. Um, yeah, good luck to them. And Burgundy has a couple of those territories up there. That's actually kind of nice. Uh, eventually, I'd be I, I might be able to uh, go on a conquest down there, a holy war down there. That would be nice. That would be fun. Although I'm not sure if 
getting these territories would let me do that. I might have to get some territories down here in France first. I'll figure it out eventually. Okay. Uh, only a charismatic negotiator? Disappointing. Disappointing. I need to go through and, and check to see who's being educated by people and, and try to get more people uh, with gray eminence. She does have a 24 diplomacy. Oh, wait, no. This is, uh, this was a woman that I was uh, training. I'm a charismatic negotiator. Damn it, I forgot about that. All right, well, um... Let's see who is the lucky winner of a marriage with her. Uh, any good traits? Ooh, attractive. I like that. <laughs> We've got two peasant leaders there. Uh, yeah, they're both chaste. There's a lot of chaste people. You're Scottish, but uh, I like the attractive trait. Let's do that. Thank you. So how's this war going? 0% for Haleth and 62% for Arthail. Yeah, Haleth screwed that one. She really botched that one. A son was born to Theotmar von St. Paul and Princess Elinion of Wales named Iolo. Yeah, we're sticking with Iolo. Ah, sticking with Iolo. <laughs> At 100%, are you going to end it now? I mean, he's in my prison, so that might not... I should be able to end it. I don't know. There we go. Oh, nice! Oh! Okay, so Asa lost his uh, title... But that did not end Haleth's claim on Dyfeth. Dyfed. It just flipped who was the opponent. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. I guess Haleth didn't screw that one quite as much as I thought she had. That's hilarious. That is just hilarious. <laughs> there is no one in either of these two. Oh. Alright. Child lacks a guardian. Let's go ahead and educate uh, my daughter. Okay. Educate child. Um. Hey. Hey, nephew. Do what you can with her. Thank you. Well, you know, I suppose I could, uh... Try ransoming him now? No, no. Oh, wow, he got, he got kicked out all the way to Gelray. Um... Whatever, just just release you. You, you, can, you can get the hell out of here. I don't care. Oh, that's right, and she died. <laughs> oh, buddy... Your wife died while you were in prison, and now you got uh, kicked out to a foreign territory. Sucks to be you! Sucks to be you. And this guy, he took the territory, and the combined army surrounding the last city just turned on each other. <laughs> oh, this, this is, uh... This is so rich. I love this part of the game. I love it when these things happen. <laughs> it's so great. <sighs> Fortunately, it is... Let's speed up time a little bit. Well, what do we get? Uh, uh, yeah, whatever. Y your armies are not going to make that much difference there. Wait, what? What? 
Oh, dick, you're Catholic. So are you. So are you. Oh, crap. I can't go on Holy Wars for Scotland anymore. Damn it. <sighs> All right, I'm going to have to start fabricating claims up there then. Yeah, it looks like the whole thing, uh, everything became, uh, he's still Norse. He is not. She is still Norse. Ah, <sighs> hmm. Well, I still have a um, peace treaty, so I can't claim a lot of those territories. <coughs> I'm going to claim on Limerick, don't I? Yeah, I do. Why can't I press it? I don't know. Whatever. Alright. Uh, let's see. So, his heir... And that would be her. Uh, him. All of your kids, all of your kids are Catholic now. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. That's, that just pisses me off. Maybe that's why Denmark went on a holy war for, uh, you. Maybe Denmark will go on a holy war for, uh, um, Scotland then. Come on, maybe I can, come on. Come on, Denmark. You know you want Scotland. You know you want Scotland. Come on. Come on, do it. Do it. You're not going to do it, are you? Oh, he's a berserker. <sighs> so what can I do about that? What can I do about that? Would have a 230% plot power. What the hell? Let's just start doing plots to assassinate people up there. I'm not going to spend much money on it. Um, I'll just see what comes of it. I might be able to manipulate it to get someone with a... Uh, um, uh, who's a pagan? To rule it. Well, let's see. And uh, your duchies. So... There's Albany, Moray, Suthrjar. I need to I, let's let's focus on uh, Suthrjar instead of Ulster right now. Um, because I would like to press that claim, the Duchy of the Isles. We'll see what comes of it. Do I have a better Chancellor, actually? What is your 20... Tw oh, wow. Uh, how much do you like me? You like me a whole hell of a lot. You. You get up there. My co-conspirator, Mayor Macbeth, has assembled a party of mercenaries who will ambush King Ophag II, disguised as highwaymen. I am assured he will not survive the encounter. Yes, the roads just aren't safe anymore. 
<laughs> Mayor Macbeth. <laughs> oh, that guy. I think that's the same guy who got uh, imprisoned before. Uh, makes me wonder. Probably plotting of some sort. All right. Well, uh, let's go until uh, November. Okay, it's November 1st, 9.26. We have uh, had lots of funsies down in Dehubarth. Uh, it is quite amusing watching what's going on there. Uh, we had a, <coughs> a very disappointing turn of events up here in Scotland with them converting to Catholicism. Um, so I'm going to see what I can do to take care of that. Um, and off-camera, I think I'm going to go through and see if there are any new children that I need to educate to make them properly Welsh. Um, incidentally, I have been asked why I'm doing that for people like Irish and Scottish and stuff like that when they are considered the same, um, uh, culture group, Celtic. Um, the main reason is because of this. I want to see everything turn Welsh. I really do. It's fun that way. So, in the main, the best way to do that is to have lots and lots of Welsh people. Um, you know, ensuring that people who uh, control the territories become Welsh. Um, or, well, ensuring that the people who control the territories are Welsh will make the, it much more likely that they will flip to being uh, Welsh themselves. So... Um, that being said, that's the main reason why I do it. Um, I mean, as you can see, you know, I mean, uh, York and Lincoln, um, here in Shrewsbury, these were already Welsh, but, uh, um, Brefne and, uh, Ossery, um, all Welsh already. So, it's, uh, rather nice. And, of course, down here, we've got, uh, uh, Sigfrid, Sigfrid, uh, of Cornwall, who is, um, He's still Norse, so I want to try to fix that. Anyway, uh, we will see you in the next episode as uh, I uh, consider Scotland, how to uh, handle them. may just have to start assassinating everyone who uh, gains power up there. It may happen. Um, did Kildare get called in on uh, with Denmark? No. Ah, no, okay, it's just... Jeez, Denmark has an enormous army there. I don't know why they're there. They're clearly heading up to, towards Scotland. Oh, well. Alright, anyway, uh, we shall see you in the next episode.